You can see it's coming up to the roundabout nicely, and now it's aborting actually. So it's still driving itself, even though it's aborting. And it did take the left lane, and it's even gonna stop at a red light on a roundabout while completing the roundabout. Oh, is it really seven miles until I can turn back around? Oh no. Welcome back everybody to Ted's a Driver. I hope you're doing very well. And welcome back to Junction 14 on the M4, the infamous roundabout, the first roundabout that Tesla Autopilot completed. Uh, has got some debate on whether it really completed it or if it was just complete and utter fluke or kind of what the deal was. So what I thought we would do today is try and get basically some solid evidence that either it can or it can't do this roundabout by trying to go on it and exit and enter at many different places. Now this is completely on Navigate on Autopilot here. I've been on Navigate on Autopilot this whole journey. So let's see how it reacts to all of this with the first job of coming off. You can see there indicating nicely and taking us down this lane. It's gonna probably pick the left side again. So it's picked the left side. So this bit again is wrong, but we are able to move it over on autopilot to this lane. So we wanna go all the way around and come off at the third exit. Now, yet again, like the same as last time, there is nobody behind us. Uh, we've got someone in front of us who's actually stopping. So he could have regulated our speed. We're gonna bring it down to 10, no one behind us. Uh, no one coming onto the roundabout from that side over there. So I'm gonna come on and I'm indicating right. Now, last time I did this at 25 miles an hour and it came off here at the M4. Will it do it again? Let's see. Oh guys, oh, I'm so sorry to let you know it was in fact complete and utter fluke because as we've just seen there, the car has completed that with no problems, exact same circumstances and it ended up coming out on the same uh, exit. Oh, it's telling us to indicate left, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure who's going left here, if I'm being totally honest. Let's bring this up to 70, and should we indicate right car? How about that? Let's go on to, let's go on to this lane. It cocked up here last time as well. Let's see how well it does it. A lot smoother lap time, absolutely perfect. Before we get to the next roundabout, here's a quick question. It's 11.34 in the clip at the moment, and it says it's gonna take me 23 minutes to get to the other side of the roundabout. How is it now I'm at the other side and it's only 11.42? Let me know in the comments. This time we're coming from the other side. So this is the way that last time it worked correctly. We basically came to this roundabout and did a whole U-turn and came back on it. This time I'm asking it to actually come off at the junction just before that, rather than going all the way back around. Let's see how well it does. Of course, it's doing all of this by itself. And uh, it took us last time into the left lane. There's no one behind us here. So yeah, again, it is taking us into the left lane, so we do need to indicate across over to this right-hand lane. And now this is gonna be where the real tests come in. Does it actually follow my navigation at all, or will it just do another U-turn and come all the way back around? I am gonna indicate off, because I'm not sure if that made a difference, but we'll obviously see this time if it does make a difference. All the way down to 10 for this, I'll have a look. No one coming off this van. Yeah, we're all good. Bring it back up, let's bring it up to 30. Actually, I'll bring it back down to 25 because I think that's what I had it on last time. And here we go. Thinks that's a stop sign. Very interesting. It didn't do that last time. Oh, oh, okay, we're coming off. I, uh, I definitely don't want to come off there, but I didn't indicate. I didn't indicate. If you notice that, I didn't indicate and it was bringing me straight off in front. Whereas last time when I indicated, it actually took me right around there and all the way off. So that is interesting. We're gonna test this theory again, so I'm not gonna indicate. And in theory, we should just go straight across the roundabout, no problem. So let's bring it down as we do every time to 15 and then 10 if we need to. There's no one coming, so I'm gonna bring it up to 25. You can see there it's coming off, it's coming off. It might be, yet yeah, it is following that. So it was going down that way. So the indications don't seem to make a difference because it shouldn't have gone left there considering I wasn't indicating. Uh, and in fact, it should have come down here. So I think what we've, what we've witnessed is that it's following the lines pretty heavily. This time I'm gonna try and mimic what we did last time, which was basically do a complete route around the roundabout. So I'm gonna use my indicator and I'm gonna indicate right. There's a lorry coming, but I'm hoping we'll get past. Yeah, he's not, he's going very, very slowly. So I'm indicating right here, indicating right, and it is, Oh, okay, we're going on to the M4. Yeah, we're going on to the M4. So I think what we can take away from that is that when it did the roundabout, oh, is it really seven miles until I can turn back around? Oh no. Uh, what we can take from that is that it was a definite fluke. It was a one situation, like one case scenario there, indicating left. I, I don't 
Like, what's that about? We need to go right here. Fingers crossed it does this well. Let's see, shall we? So it's coming off nicely. It's probably gonna stick in the left lane like it normally does. I really want it to go to the, oh, oh, hello. Okay, we're all the way over to the right now. Yeah, and, and we're sticking over here to the right. We're following that left line. Now it's now it's gone to that middle lane. Oh, a bit of a bump. And in fact, I'm gonna go back over to the right-hand lane here because we are going all the way around. So this is turned off, navigate on autopilot. This is just autopilot that's on now, and we'll see how well it does all of this. Coming up behind this Amarok, braking hard but nice. And you can see there, it wasn't sure where it should put the lines. I'm gonna accelerate it here just so it, it gets going. And let's see what happens. No, it aborts straight away. I think because of all the lines that kind of cross and zigzag, we can actually turn it back on though, cheeky. Uh, we'll turn it back on here and see if it continues to do that. But I think it's because of all the lines and stuff. Is it gonna go the, oh, hello, okay. It's going all the way around. I'm indicating, I forgot to indicate earlier, so I wonder if that was an issue. I'm gonna bring it down here because I do not wanna go around this at that speed. I wanna keep it at 25. If we can stay within the lane lines, this actually might be successful here, guys. This actually might be successful. And it's even gonna stop at a red light on a roundabout while completing the roundabout. I mean, as far as titles go, that's an absolute banger. Model 3 stops at red lights and enters roundabout. This car is coming very, very close to me. Jesus. I had to pull it off because of that car was coming so close and I was really worried that the Tesla was gonna lurch into them. Um, oh, wow, look at that. I forgot that we were on 25, so it brought it straight down to 25 as we did that. Car's indicating left, so yeah, let's, let's do that left change. I don't know why it always wants to do a left change coming onto a motorway. There's no one behind us, don't worry. We've got loads of time here. Okay, so I'm gonna pump it a little bit because we're coming on where a lorry is. And again, look, the car, is it gonna do it in time or is it just gonna like squeeze me across? It's done it in time. Not bad, not bad at all. This time we're gonna try the most simple route on the roundabout, which is just to come off at the first exit. So here it does this correctly, no problems at all. Let's see what side it's gonna pick, left or right. It's gonna pick the left. Yeah, we knew that from, from earlier anyway. It seems to be favoring the left as you come down on here. No matter what way you set it up on your uh, navigate and autopilot, it will always pick that left lane by the looks of it. So I'm gonna bring it all the way down. There is absolutely nobody behind us, which is great. I'm uh, gonna bring it all the way down to 10 miles an hour, and I'm gonna indicate left. There's one car, there's no car coming now. Let's see, will it do this left turn for us? Yeah, there we, yeah, okay, so it like, it wobbled. Oh God, that was, a, um, that was a horrible, horrible pothole there. I need to turn around, so we need to do it again. But it did actually turn left and followed my indication, which is correct, so yeah, not bad at all. Let's see then if I pull up to it this time. I'm not actually on Navigate on Autopilot this time, so I'm intrigued to see how it works, if it differs at all. I want to go left, so I'm gonna indicate left. You can see it's coming up to the roundabout nicely, and now it's aborting actually. So it's still driving itself even though it's aborting. And it did take the left lane. So once I accelerated, basically if it aborts like that and you accelerate, it will still self-drive for a little bit. It will still self-drive and it will still control itself. So I allowed it to do that. And you saw it actually did take the left and did take the correct route. Let's go try it from the other way around. Why are you asking me to go left? I do not understand that at all. It's such a weird thing because it knows that we need to join. So it was indicating left and now all of a sudden it's like, hey, Let's go right. I've also noticed that the preconditioning notification is now up here rather than sitting down here. So it used to sit here and cover basically your screen and it was really bad because it would just cover what you were seeing. Whereas now they've put it nicely up to here. So it's kind of out the way. Looks a lot cleaner, good job. Autopilot all the way to the superchargers. Normally don't forget here, it kind of cocks up at the Starbucks bit at the end. Um, if you've been on my autopilot videos before, on this bit, you know what I'm talking about. It hates the Starbucks corner. So let's see what it does. And uh, yeah, give it a whirl, shall we? So we bring it down to 25 and, oh, 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 wow, interesting. So for the first time there, it wasn't sure where to go even that early on. KFC is open again, big news. It, big, big news, how much did they pay for that? Uh, okay, so it dodges, yeah, it dodges these potholes still, which is really good to see. And now I'm gonna bring it down to 15 here. So we do this bit of 15 and hopefully, hands are on the wheel. Come on, don't, it usually does it here oh, every time. 
every single time at that exact spot, the car doesn't like it, and I'm not 100% sure why. Anyway, I'm sorry to disappoint you today on telling you that the roundabout stuff was not fake or anything, but just kind of fluke and kind of luck. Hopefully in the future, in the very near future actually, hopefully, we will have something that's a little bit more robust. I hope you enjoyed the drive. Sorry, I've kind of disappointed a lot of people by showing you that actually the roundabout thing was just complete luck. Hopefully within the next few updates, within the next few months, you'll be able to do something like that. And I'll definitely show you it here first on the Tesla Driver YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscri subscribe, turn on the notification bell, hit the like button and comment anything you want down below. I'm always in the comment section, so feel free. And also, if you really want to support the channel, consider becoming a patron. The links are in the description. Until next time, don't forget, drive safe.